seconds and I was gone. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. We have got a busy day today. I accidentally slept in a little bit, so I haven't even had like breakfast or coffee yet. I wanted to get to the post office before it got busy. I had to drop off a package for Ross. Now that that's done, we can go home and eat some breakfast. I've got just a ton of work to do today. We've got a podcast recording this evening, but let's, let's just get some breakfast. Let's do one thing at a time so we don't get overwhelmed. Let's just start with eating some food. Go. Oh, cheese, buddy. Go home. Yeah. That's a lot of toys. <sighs> okay. I am starving and ready to caffeinate. Let's make some coffee first. We're doing a protein coffee today. We're doing a heaping tablespoon of our instant espresso. Don't be hating on the instant espresso game. This stuff is great. Now for the creamy and sweet. Going with some milk. One of you amazing humans told me to use this berries and cream with chocolate protein powder. So good. We might need a bigger glass. Hi buddy, welcome back from your outdoor adventures. Yesterday, he killed a baby bunny in the yard. We've had these like adult rabbits that live under our deck. And I think there's more than one and now I know for sure there's more than one. They made babies and yesterday Phineas slayed one of them. It was so sad, I had to have Ross deal with it because I couldn't do it. So now, since last night, whenever he goes out there, he's out there for like 15, 20 minutes just looking around for more things to slay. My son is a murderer. It's so good. I do want this foam out of here though. Yeah, come to mama. All right, now let's make some actual food because I need some carbs. One of my favorite ways to eat an everything bagel is with some cream cheese, obviously, but my secret ingredient is this pepper jelly that my mom makes. So it's like sweet and a little bit spicy. It's so good. And I don't have a recipe, I apologize. But you guys know I love like sweet and savory together. So this is just like a perfect, it's a match made in heaven.
Look, it's not really the most pretty thing in the world, but so good. Even when I have like a really busy schedule, a really busy day, I still try to take my time with my meals. I know it's not always possible for everybody and even for me, like every meal, I don't always get that luxury of practicing mindful eating. But when I can, I really try to make that a priority. That just really helps me to make sure I'm actually meeting my needs throughout the day and prevent the post workday munchies. Because if I don't eat mindfully, I just kind of like shove food in, don't consider like what's actually going to satisfy me, don't really consider if I'm actually like eating until I'm full, not getting enough protein, fiber, whatever. It all comes back to bite me later. Have I given you guys a tour of my office since I redid it? I don't think I have. It's still a work in progress, but I made a lot of changes. Let me show you. So first of all, I painted the whole thing green including the ceiling, which needs another coat. Don't judge, I'm still working on it. I've had this day bed for a while, but I love it. And by the way, I will link all this stuff below in case anyone happens to be interested. But this day bed is from Target, and my favorite part is these fruit and veggie pillows that I got on Amazon. Adorable. I also got this bookshelf from Amazon, which I love. A place to display my diploma that the internet thinks is fake. A place to store my nutrition textbooks that the internet thinks are fake, are paid by General Mills. How adorable is this banana artwork? I got it from Walmart of all places. I've been telling you guys, Walmart is stepping up their game. They also have like a tomato and an orange and I might get a couple others to put in this blank space here because I need something here. But I'm not quite sure what yet. My little coffee table with my mushroom coasters from World Market. And this is where the magic happens. I need to do some cord management. Ross gets really upset about my cords because, I mean, he's right, it's kind of a mess down there, but we just look up here, we look up here. Ross built me these adorable little floating shelves. Aren't they so cute? I love my Flexi Spot standing desk. I did a partnership with them a while back and so they sent this to me as part of the campaign. So yeah, that's the new office. Like I said, I wanna get some more artwork right here. I'm sure I will eventually have a whole day bed full of these pillows because they're adorable and I love them. I can do my little like typey typeys right here. I can do them over there. I can like read my books here, you know? I just love it. I was made to work from home. It is in my blood to spend all of my time here. All right, well that is enough messing around. I like actually have a ton of stuff to do. <laughs> I'm gonna get to work and then I will see you guys at either snack or lunchtime. We'll see, we'll see what time we feel hungry. Hello, Vizudas. Happy Monday. Diet culture just bombarded us with the idea that Hello guys, it's lunchtime. I'm not gonna lie, I've gotten a little bit overly hungry. I didn't have time for a morning snack. I was just click clacking away on my computer. Feeling pretty hungry. I have quite a few different types of leftovers that I'll likely do for lunch. And then I think I might also do a little bit of prep for dinner later. We might make some egg salad. We might just like make a big old thing of eggs, hard boiled eggs, and use those for like egg salad slash hard boiled eggs for this week. Our future self will be thankful. Okay, let's see what we got. So the other day I made this like noodle dish with the Trader Joe's Thai wheat noodles and some shrimp, onion, ginger, garlic, what is it called? Sesame oil with some cilantro on top. And then my not so secret ingredient that I added, which I'll do after I reheat this, is some peanuts on top. So yeah, we're gonna do this for lunch. Super easy, already cooked, just need to reheat it. I love leftovers. You guys know I love leftovers. And honestly, I have leftovers for dinner too, but is this video really worth watching if I'm just eating leftovers for most of my meals? <laughs> I'm sure you guys want some like actual inspiration of like what to prepare. We're gonna do the egg salad 
after we eat this, I need to eat first because I am very hungry. We always need our fun afternoon beverage. Normally, I would like chop these into smaller pieces before adding it to this dish, but I don't feel like it. I just inhaled that. It was so good. But I do need a little, little sweet treat, so we're having some lint truffles while we get these eggs boiling. Okay, let's do it. While we wait for the water to boil, let's get the rest of our ingredients in here. Going in with some white onion that's already diced. Let's just do all of it. My mom is like huge into canning, which is why I always have canned goods from her. And she makes both dill and bread and butter pickles. And so I sliced up some of the dill pickles and made like a relish. So we're gonna throw these in there too. Mayo. We're going for all the dill vibes today. We're using this dill pickle mustard. Also adding some plain Greek yogurt. And we gotta pay our snack tax to Finn. Yummies. And then finally, for a little bit of green, throwing in some cilantro. I would also do like parsley or dill if I had that, but only green herb I have right now is the cilantro, so that'll do. Water's boiling, let's get our eggies in their bath. I'm doing eight eggs. I'm only gonna use like four or five of them for the egg salad. Ooh, that one's broken. And the rest I will just be eating for snacks. Or I'll use on like avocado toast or something for breakfast. My grandpa and my mom both have chickens. So I've always got farm fresh eggs on deck and it's the best. All right, so we're gonna let these boil for 12, 12 minutes. If I was just doing these to snack on, I would do a more like gummy runny, maybe like seven or eight minutes, but I want them all the way cooked through for the egg salad. Now we wait. Ooh. We're gonna get these guys into an ice bath and let them cool down. This also helps the shell come off way easier, at least. It's worked for me thus far. Oh gosh, I did too much water. Ugh, get in there, little guy. Get in there, little guy. All right, I'm gonna let these guys hang out in their little ice bath for like 15 minutes and then we'll finally peel and chop. All right, time for my least favorite part. I just don't enjoy peeling these, but my method always works. Not a single, a single scratch. So these guys are gonna be for snacking this week. These guys are going into our egg salad. And of course, we're using my favorite kitchen tool, our veggie chopper, to get these all cut up. You ready for this? Amazing. Like that's literally it. And my hands are so clean. Into our bowl from earlier. This is my version of meal prep, y'all. We are not spending all day in the kitchen on a Sunday making our meals for the week, but just as we can, trying to throw a little bit of ingredient prep together for a future meal. There we have it, folks. Dinner for later. It is gorgeous outside and I'm tired of being indoors, so let's go for a walk. <laughs> Finn heard me say that. Do you wanna go for a walk? You do? Okay, let's do it. I'm listening to the audiobook of A Court of Thorns and Roses. Hi Finn, are you excited? Okay, one second. I gotta tell I gotta tell the people what we're listening to. Um, because I tried reading a different Sarah J. Mass book and it was just so boring. And this one honestly has been so boring as well, but I can listen to it on 1.5 speed. <laughs> And that's been helping me. So I'm over 40% of the way through and I've heard the second one is better. So I am persevering. So the solar eclipse is happening right now. Come here, come here. And 
it's getting like so dark in here. Apparently we live in a place of like the total or totality or whatever it's called. So Finn and I are just sitting by a window watching it get eerily dark outside for like three o'clock. What's going on Finners? Of course, like all my neighbors are outside. Oh my gosh. Look at how dark it is. It is 3 p.m. and it is like pitch black. I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't really understand the science behind a solar eclipse. So is it just gonna get like light outside again once it passes? Oh, yeah, it's getting lighter. Wow. I have to go to the eye doctor next week anyway, so if I did look too long, I guess we'll find out then. Huh. Okay, back to work. We are running short on time. It is just... Are you good? Okay. As I was saying, we are running short on time. Today is just going so fast and I have not been able to keep up. But I want to do a workout, shower, and eat dinner before we record our podcast episode. And we're gonna record in like a little over an hour. This might be ambitious, but this is why we prepped dinner already. But we need a little pre-workout snack. So we're doing that right now. I got these honey mangoes from Trader Joe's the last time I was there. They are so good. So we're gonna have one of those before we do a little bit of exercise. I'm always talking about and trying to always pair our carbs with protein, fat, and fiber. And this mango does have some fiber in it, but there is a time and place for just eating some simple sugars like fruit. And before a workout is one of them. If I were to pair this with like some proteins and fats, like, I don't know, maybe a string cheese or something, nothing bad's gonna happen. I'm not like some elite athlete, but my body won't be able to use the carbs as quickly as it will if I just eat this mango by itself. All right, let's get these carbs in us, do a quick little workout, eat our egg salad sandwich, and then record a podcast episode. I told you guys before that I like to listen to audiobooks or podcasts while I work out. Right now, I'm still listening to A Court of Thorns and Roses and Feyre is fighting the like worm thingy. Is that a spoiler alert? I don't know, maybe. So if you're wondering what I'm listening to while you see me doing my bicep curls, human in a fairy world fighting a giant worm, which I am picturing like the worm from SpongeBob. Is that? Is that pretty accurate, you think? Really gets me pumped. Mm, dinner is served in all of like five minutes. We love that for us. All right, I need to eat this, get back to work. I've got a podcast recording and I have a few other pieces of content I gotta get up. I'm not going to bed for a few hours, so I'm gonna need a bedtime sweet treat, bedtime snack. We're gonna need something, so this is not goodbye. Change of plans, I wanted my little sweet treat now. So I'm making some hot chocolate to have while we record our podcast. My mother-in-law made these homemade marshmallows, which is the main reason why I wanted to make this hot cocoa because I wanted to add these. They have sprinkles on top. Look how cute. So we're gonna plop a couple of these big guys in here. Mm. All right, let's go podcast. What a day. Finally done with work. I'm gonna do a little bit of reading in bed. I'm on the fourth Harry Potter book. I'm also going to enjoy some of these strawberry overnight oats because 
You can have oats at any time of day. I have hiccups. <sighs> you can have oats at any time of day. There are no rules about what a breakfast food is. There's no rules, y'all. Well, thank you guys for hanging out with me today, as always. Hopefully today was a nice realistic portrayal of how intuitive eating works on just a busy day. I know everyone's version of busy is a little bit different and that's why everyone's version of intuitive eating is gonna be different. So as always, this was not meant to be a portrayal of what or how you should eat. Every single day looks totally different. And honestly, we're all just trying to get by. So, oh man, there is enough stress most likely going on in your life. Stressing about food does not need to be part of the equation. Make sure you guys like this video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna go relax and I'll see you next time.